Today's Mass is offered for holy souls in purgatory. We also pray and offer for souls who have no one to pray for. We pray for the souls of Joseph M. Sundram, for Mrs. Charlotte, for Samantha Lohui Chen, for Teresa Samdana Sami, for Philip Lian Woon Choi and Judy Lee Po Ai, for Anthony Xiao Chin Hock and Elizabeth Ko So, offering special intentions for Ko and Chong family, special intentions for Irene Lo for successful transplant surgery and speedy recovery by Angela Hugh, special intention and thanksgiving for Bagi Bagamasbad and family, prayers for families in Melbourne, Australia and Philippines. We also continue to remember and pray for all those who are suffering during this pandemic, all those who are going through a difficulty in getting a job or sustaining a job, all those who are facing domestic problems and various other issues and problems that people face. May they continue to receive God's grace and blessings through our generosity. So pray for our own personal intentions. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in, my, in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, Jesus invites us today to listen to his word and to put it to practice, to show that love through our deeds. And so for times that we have failed to translate that word of God into our lives, for times that we have failed to practice what we hear through Mass and through various preaching of Jesus, for times that we have failed to live out the word of God. For this and for all the sins that we have committed, let us be truly sorry for our sins, acknowledging them, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the image of the unseen God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the firstborn of all creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the head of the body, the church. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. from the book of Proverbs. Like flowing water is the heart of the king in the hand of the Lord, who turns it where he pleases. A man's conduct may strike him as upright. The Lord, however, weighs the heart. To act virtuously and with justice is more pleasing to the Lord than sacrifice. Haughty eye, proud heart, lamp of the wicked, nothing but sin. The hard-working man is thoughtful, and all is gain. Too much haste, and all that comes of it is want. To make a fortune 
with the help of a lying tongue, such the idle fantasy of those who look for death. The wicked man's soul is intent on evil. He looks on his neighbour with dislike. When a mocker is punished, the ignorant man grows wiser. When a wise man is instructed, he acquires more knowledge. The just one watches the house of the wicked. He hurls the wicked to destruction. He who shuts his ear to the poor man's cry shall himself plead and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Guide, Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. They are happy whose life is blameless, who follow God's law. Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Guide, Guide me, me, Lord, in the path of your commands. I have chosen the way of truth with your decrees before me. Train me to observe your law, to keep it with my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. Guide me in the path of your commands, for there is my delight. I shall always keep your law forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the path of your commands. waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. The mother and brothers of Jesus came looking for him, but they could not get to him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and brothers are, wait, are standing outside and want to see you. But he said in answer, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and put it to, into practice. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Thanks to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as 2,000 years ago, mankind longs to see the face of Jesus, and each one has his own reason. Some are in need of healing, like Bartimaeus, the blind man of Jericho, who shouted after Jesus until he took pity and cured him. Some out of curiosity, like Zacchaeus, who climbed a tree to see Jesus because he was short in stature, some just to hear his word, like the crowd that pressed in on him to hear the word of God by the lake of Gennesaret, some out of love and to look after him, like the Blessed Virgin Mary and Mary Magdalene. And so they could not reach him because of the crowd, as we hear in the Gospel, Though we may seek Christ with the purest of intentions, it is not always easy to achieve our goal. There are bound to be obstacles along the way, and we have to be prepared for them. Satan always tries to separate us from God through sin, even putting the fear of confession in our hearts so we don't receive God's healing grace. The word, the world also attempts to keep us as far from God as possible, 
offering a thousand distractions and amusements to lead us away from prayer, reflection and conversion. And of course, sometimes we ourselves are so little inclined to piety, service to others and a virtuous life. Laziness and indolence can overcome even the best of us. So we need to let him know we are seeking him. And so we hear in the gospel, Jesus rejects his closest friends. What counts for Jesus are those who listen to the word of God and do it. He came to preach and to save everyone. And contrary to the first impression given by his words, this does not exclude his mother and his relatives. Christ doesn't lower them, but rather elevates us and them to a degree of intimacy greater than blood ties. And this is the beauty of God's love. He calls us to an even greater dignity and deeper intimacy with Him. As we celebrate the Eucharist today, let us pray for the grace to hear the Word of God and to do it. Pray for the grace to drive away all our enemies and spiritual tepidity, that He will cure our spiritual blindness and help us to do good by hearing His Word. Let us pray that we will put into practice of hearing the Word of God and living it out through our deeds. We pray for His grace during this Mass. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, we Saints Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray they may abide in the word of Jesus as we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus who invites us to hear his word and put it to practice. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
you have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We pray the prayer for all. God, God our, our merciful Father, Father source, source of healing, cast the light of health and well-being on those who have been exposed to coronavirus, those who have contracted the disease. Bless them, protect them, and bring them speedily to full recovery. God of wisdom, bless medical scientists and researchers around the world with insight and skill, dedication, and fortitude that their work yields knowledge and understanding, speedily finding a vaccine, treatments and deterrence to its spread. Source of life, grant public health and government officials the strength to act swiftly and decisively with compassion and understanding in service to humankind, fighting this outbreak, threatening the lives of our brothers and sisters, nations and communities, young and old. God of the present moment, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the intercession of our blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Have a blessed day. Same to you, Father.